Hello, my name is Jacob Henninger. Wait. So this is Welcome to the Field. Yeah. Wait. I'll say at the end. Thank you, Heath. As here I have. Uh, thank you, Heath. Here I have your basic bicycle wheel and a piece of string attached to one side of the axle, right here. Now, if if I were to take the wheel and put it up in the upright position and let go, it would flop over because obviously gravity is acting upon it. But now let's take a look and see if I turn it into a gyroscope by spinning it. I let go. It's kind of vibrating, but it'll process or spin around the fixed point because I've turned it into a gyroscope. Thank you, Heath. Here I have your basic bicycle wheel and a piece of string and rope attached to one side of the axle. Now, as you can see, if I put the wheel in the upright position and let go, the wheel flops over because gravity is acting upon it and it has no means of being stabilized otherwise. But if I turn it into a gyroscope by spinning it, giving it angular velocity, I can let go and the wheel will spin around the the place where the rope is attached, and this is called precession. And here in a moment, I will explain what precession is and how it works. Cool. Now I suppose you're wondering what precession is and why it occurs. To begin, I will focus on two sections of the gy of this bike wheel. We'll say the top, the top half, and the bottom half, which I have marked with two pieces of tape right here. When a force is applied to the axle, the section at the top of the gyroscope will try to move to the left. So if I hang it from this point right here. Well, that's the right. So I can hold it if you want. So I can hold. I'm gonna hold it right. Here. I got this thing. Can go to the right. I suppose you're now wondering what precession is and what causes it. Today I will focus on. Now I suppose you're wondering what precession is and why it occurs. To begin, I will focus on two main points. I'll pick two points on this bike wheel. We'll say the top point and the bottom point, which are, which are like 180 degrees across from each other. Let's say if I hang, if I attach my rope to the, on the left side of the axle, and I just, I do not turn it in gyroscope, it will just hang like this. So this is because gravity, is acting on this point right here, point this way, and gravity on this point right here, point it this way, so that's why it flips over. Now, when a force is applied to the axle, like such as when you spin it, let's say when I spin it initially 90 degrees, 90 degrees, this force still wants to continue rightward because of Newton's first law, which states an object will remain at a constant speed and in a constant direction unless it acted upon an outside force. The, so this point will continue to move to the right. The same with the bottom point, which when it's moved to the left, will not still continue to move to the left, so therefore it'll start to rotate. Right. And when you spin it, it's right here, so if I say it's going to the right, so it's still going. I just want to say, I said, talking about right, you had the 90 degrees. Yeah. Alright. If I continue, if the wheel continues to spin another 90 degrees, this point down here was originally trying to move to the right, and this point was trying to move to the left because of gravity. So, 
the wheel would flip like this. But if you rotate it 180 degrees, now the forces are trying to move it this way. So this force and this force, they are equal because of Newton's first law, they will cancel. So that is what enables the wheel to hang in the air. And it processes or spins about the axis because of these forces when they are along the outer edge of the wheel because this one moves to the right, so it's spinning and, and such. Cats are one of nature. Okay. Cats are very fascinating. They are one of nature's only creatures that contain a gyroscope naturally built in their body. The major advantage a cat has when falling is its unique ability to right itself in midair. While people tend to tumble uncontrollably as they fall because they do not have a gyroscope in their ear. This is based on the concept of angular momentum. <laughs> you look so goofy. I don't know. Cats are very fascinating creatures. They are one of nature's only creatures that contains a gyroscope naturally built in its body. A major advantage a cat has when falling is its unique ability to right itself in midair, while people tend to tumble uncontrollably as they fall. This is because of angular momentum. Cats have a superb internal gyroscope located in their inner ear, which very quickly detects the orientation of their fall. As they fall, the cat. Stop it. Because we have shit in there that I don't need to say. We do? Yeah. That good? Yeah. Cats are very fascinating. They are one of the few creatures that contain a gyroscope naturally built in their body. The major advantage cats have when falling is their unique ability uh -huh, to write. Uh -huh. Cats are very fascinating animals. They are one of nature's only creatures that contain a gyroscope naturally built in their body. A major advantage cats have when falling is their unique ability to right themselves in the midair, while people tend to tumble uncontrollably as they fall. This requires a use of, if perhaps not an understanding of the concept of angular momentum. Cats have a superb internal gyroscope located in their inner ear, which very quickly detects their orientation as they fall. A cat rotates its body in one direction and its tail in the opposite direction as it falls, conserving angular momentum in the process. It then stretches its leg out and reverses the process. The outstretched legs keeps the cat from twisting all the way back to its original orientation. The cat then reverts back to the first motion and continues the process until rotation is complete. Tailless cats use one of their hind legs extended in place of the tail. The rotation takes a mere two or three feet of descent before the cat completely rights itself. First we gotta do a pose, like... Get that to let a little... Get low, get low. Flex, flex, you get one arm. Mm. You gotta get the ready. Do it, ready? What are we doing? Yeah, we gotta do it and then freeze for like a couple seconds. Okay. Ready? Go. Alright, now. 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 Alright, <laughs> Thanks for watching. This concludes our program on dryer. Wait. Oh, this concludes. Okay. This concludes our program on gyroscopes. Thanks for watching. Until next time. This is Heath Vignes. And I'm Jacob. I just say like good night at the end or something. Oh, here. good night.
very good. So, so Jacob, I heard. Uh, so Jacob, I heard bites off of gyroscopes in them, which is why when you stop, you fall over. Is that true? Well, I guess that makes sense because when you're moving, all you have to do is lean from side to side to turn in instead of actually turning the actual handlebars. Seriously. All right. And that doesn't. That doesn't. We need to say something like more. All right. <laughs> Ready for? Go. Go. Wait. Stop. 